Yo, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Rivian Automotive, ticker symbol R-I-V-N. And so I had previously made a video on Rivian that came out on November 9th. And in that video, I went over a lot of the lines, a lot of the levels that you see in this chart. So I'm not going to go over all of them in great detail here, but you can check that video out if you'd like to learn more about these levels that I've drawn. And so some of those levels that were in that video are these light blue ones, so I'm not going to go over them here. Also, the yellow trend lines that you can see. I did add a trend line, this white one, which I'll go over in a minute. And then I also added uh, this red and orange line here that I think will be important, serving as resistance moving forward. And then, of course, there's this gap up here that in order to fill it, the price would need to go up to $21.58 based on the low of October 4th. And so uh, just getting into these different levels, I'm going to start with the orange one because that goes back, uh, that was originating from uh, this, I guess, actually that's originating from the Fibonacci retracement that I showed in the last video. This would be the 50% mark coming down. So that's at uh, $19.87. And as you can see, that served as support on the way down, nearly a touch point here. And then more recently, that served as resistance. So I suspect that will be a notable level of resistance moving forward. And then looking at this uh, red line, which is at $17.65, that comes from uh, this low on December 27th. Uh, you can see the touch point there. And then following that, it served as resistance. A couple tests, again, as resistance after breaking through here. There was a gap up above that level uh, in July. And then more recently, that was tested as support at the beginning of October, which was then broken through mid-October, served as resistance, uh, I guess a break above that before failing, coming back down. And just recently, on November 15th, so yesterday as I'm recording this, uh, there was a wick of a candle that went above 1765 but then was rejected before coming back down and it looks like uh, for the low of November 16th that here I'm actually going to zoom in so we can see this a little better um, and I'm going to adjust the axis there and so uh, it looks like the low of the day uh, November 16th came right around that trend line that I had drawn in the previous video or that I went over in the previous video. Uh, but I feel like this white trend line might be a little more significant. It actually is a more conservative trend line because it's higher up if it's to be served as support. And it looks like the close of the day at $16.39 closed right about that level. So I'm just going to take a step back again and break down why I feel like that level is going to be, or that trend line is going to be a little more significant than the yellow one here. And so uh, the yellow one, I think you can see uh, the, actually I will zoom in so we can see this part of the chart a little better. Uh, so that yellow one, while we can't see it on the graph uh, where it serve it as support, uh, that's based on these two touch points. However, if I were to extend it further to the left, there would be closes below that line. And so that's why I drew this white line, which uh, begins at the low of April 21st, uh, which was $11.88, and then connects to uh, the bottom of June 27th, which is a very pivotal key point uh, for this graph for my analysis, which was also right before this big run up. So I think that's a pretty important level. Anyways, uh, with the close of the day being right around that trend line, just right on it basically, I think that's a pretty significant level. If we break and close below it tomorrow, I think that could suggest downside. Uh, if we do hold above it, if it does go higher, I think that it would then have to retest 1765 again before breaking above to 1987 and or higher. Um, 
But yeah, so basically those are my thoughts around uh, Rivian. And um, yeah, I'm very curious to see if either of these trend lines hold up. It does seem like there were a couple fake out breakouts, uh, breakdowns to the downside. Uh, but, you know, I think that there is some potential for it moving higher. If it does go lower, uh, I think that there is this other trend line that I had gone over in the previous video and then also uh, hitting 1528, uh, which has served, as you can see, as resistance in the past, more recently support, which is the basis of the double bottom that I had suggested in the last video. But it's possible that could be a tested again in the near future before breaking. Uh, but yeah, I'm hopeful that these trend lines are supported, uh, are respected, serving as support uh, before a move higher. However, there's also the potential as I mentioned, to move down. And so if this was helpful for you, make sure you like the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and happy trading.